Are your clothes still wet after running them through the dryer? To avoid this problem, today I'm going to take you step by step and teach you how to clean your dryer inside and outside, including the vents, to get rid of all of that lint, which will help your dryer function normally and also prevent a house fire. Cleaning your dryer vent should be done at least once a year. If you don't feel comfortable trying this on your own, you may want to hire a professional. I definitely made a few mistakes along the way here, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. I've learned a lot and and there are some good ways to be able to clean this out and I wanted to share that with you today. A couple years ago I noticed that the filter in my dryer was not able to be pushed in all the way and as you can see here there was a little corner that was taken off. I had clothes that were getting stuck on the edge there and getting tangled up and it eventually tore off part of the filter and obviously it ruined a lot of clothes. And the problem was there is too much lint inside this filter housing. I purchased a kit that you can buy to clean your filter. It comes with a brush and a vacuum attachment. So the first thing we want to do here is to remove the filter and then we're going to take that brush and we're going to push it down inside the filter housing and just kind of wiggle it around, try and get all that lint out. But as you can see here, there was still quite a bit of lint left down there. So I went ahead and tried the vacuum attachment here. It's really simple to use. You just attach it to the end of your vacuum and stick it down there just like the brush wiggle it around try and get out as much lint as you can as you can see it worked quite a bit better from experience i know there is a lot of lint still down there so we are going to remove this lint housing there are three screws you will need to undo here two on the sides one in the middle now i'm missing a screw here in the middle but you are going to want to go ahead and leave that in that is what holds in the sensor after that it's really easy to pull the housing right out next you want to go ahead and just vacuum with the attachment what you can see in there Next, we're gonna wanna go ahead and wash the filter. I filled up my sink with some hot water and a little bit of Dawn dish soap, and I used my toothbrush. I went ahead and scrubbed it. I scrubbed all the little spots that I possibly could. Now, one thing that can happen with your filter is that it can get a buildup of fabric softener or some sort of a, a film on it, and it makes it harder for air to flow through it. If you can test this out by sticking it under the water and running it under. And if the water pools up on top, then you definitely have a film there and you for sure need to wash it. Mine didn't, but I still went ahead and gave it a good wash down. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take the filter housing and clean this off. As you can see, it is really dirty. I'm just gonna scrub this down again, same thing, as many of the tiny nooks and crannies as I possibly can. When I'm done rinsing both of these, I want to dry them thoroughly. I like to put them just on top of a towel on top of my washing machine until they are dried and you can see that they are pretty filthy. Now it's time to get behind the dryer and you want to make sure that you go ahead and unplug it. Mine is an electric dryer but if you have a gas dryer you definitely want to disconnect it and then pull out the dryer. It's always a fun surprise to see what you find behind your dryer. There was a lot of stuff, a lot of hangers that have fallen, a lot of socks, a lot of dirt. And here you can notice that there is a big kink in the hose, but buying a new hose is pretty inexpensive. We went ahead and just bought a new hose and then I didn't actually have to clean inside the hose either. Now you want to unscrew the clamp that attaches to the dryer duct and you also want to unscrew the clamp that is attached to the dryer as well. Then I went outside and I removed the vent cover and on mine I had to add this grate because we ended up finding birds were making a nest inside our vent before so that was fun. So we had to add a grate to it and I know that it also makes it harder for air to flow through so I have to be more cautious and try and take that off and clean it more often. So as you can see here there's quite a bit of lint that is stuck to the vent walls. I went inside and I took the grate with me and just cleaned that off really well as well as the little panels that go onto the vent cover. Next, I grabbed our kit that attaches to our drill. It's really pretty easy to use. A lot of professionals do say that they don't want you to use them, but I just you just want to be really cautious. So you decide again if you want to have a professional help you out or if you want to do this yourself. There are a few tips here though. You want to make sure that you do not turn your drill counterclockwise. Otherwise, it will unscrew it and it will get stuck. And you don't want to force it in or out. Just slowly move it up and down, in and out of the duct, going just a little bit deeper each each time I made the mistake of going down too far at once and I ended up getting it stuck. So we learned that if you force the drill <laughs> that the plastic will break. So we had that problem as well. You can see here that it's also recommended to use electrical tape between the links here and I just kind of folded it over on the end so that it's easier to take the tape off. Thanks to YouTube we were able to find a video 
that showed us how we could get the drill attachment that was stuck inside out. So we decided to try one of the options, which was to add a hanger, like a little metal hook to the end of our drill attachment. We just taped it on really good and we put it down into the duct. We tried to kind of spin it with the drill. Eventually it spun itself around the brush and was able to grab that and pull it out. It did take some work and some effort. So again, just go slowly in and out. And if it feels like you're you're pulling too hard, like here you can see that I, I got it stuck. <laughs> So just make sure that you go really slow in and out. Next, I decided to move outside and doing it this way made it a lot easier. I was able to get a lot more lint out, although the lint wasn't quite as thick as when I did it from the inside. And I just did this until it seemed like there wasn't anything left. And next I moved back inside and I had the opportunity here to clean the dryer duct as well. So I just kind of scrubbed that. And since it was really, really nasty underneath the dryer, I decided to give it a good little scrub down. I scrubbed the floor and I also wiped down and scrubbed down the walls and the baseboards as well. As I was ready to put the hose back on, I saw that there was more lint that had been pushed up from the outside. So I removed as much as I could see. And then I took the vacuum with the attachment, that blue attachment, and I shoved it down in there and just tried to get out as much as I possibly could. I wanted to see if there was anything left still in there. And then again, I used the drill attachment one more time, but I only used it with one length. I probably should have added a couple more just to see if I could get any more out, but I guess I was really concerned about getting it stuck again. But it looked like there wasn't anything left, so I went ahead and I put the hose back onto the vent on both sides, tightening both of the clamps. And then we slid the dryer back into place. We did our best not to kink the hose. I'm not exactly sure how else to get the hose not to kink. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear from you. So put them down in the comments below. After testing out the dryer, I found out that we still had wet clothes. So I knew we still had a blockage somewhere. And we had also seen a couple of videos where people had used their leaf blowers and we decided to give that a try. So we attached it to the end of the hose that usually goes into the dryer side. I was absolutely shocked at what came out. It would have been really smart to have put something to catch all the lint at the end of the dryer vent because it was a pain to clean this up and it was a rainy day so it made it even worse. Next we will finish up by cleaning the dryer itself. So I just used a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of Dawn in hot water and I used it to wipe all of the parts inside the dryer and I wiped the seal and the door really well. I also wiped the front and the top really well and on ours we have a little thing that has uh, that you can use for steam but I actually have never used it before, but I decided just to wipe it down anyway. Now we want to replace the housing again. So put that back in and screw your three screws back in. Again, remember that I have one screw missing here. I probably should get another one, but as of right now, it's fine. And then go ahead and replace the filter. And now you can see here that it lays flat. It's not sticking up anymore. So I know that I have cleared out all of the lint so much better. I was able to remove a ton of lint. This whole bag I had, and it, this is really compacted, and my vacuum was full. This also doesn't include all the lint that was removed when we blew out the duct line. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.